help ease congestion. With spring breakers headed to town, some beach residents are still concerned. News Channel H's Jamel and A joins us now live from Clearwater Beach, where this new garage is already being used. Jamel. It is, and you know what? People are loving it already. But again, like you said, it has opened up this morning and the uh, rows are already filling up. Now, a lot of people are still wondering, will this be enough space? It's the newest addition to Clearwater Beach. The Pelican Walk parking garage is open for business, but not everyone living close by sees it as an opportunity. It looks much better than I had anticipated, and I'm just hoping that it, it uh, doesn't create any, any problems. Billy Day owns the East Shore Resort across the street. He's not convinced this will solve parking issues on the beach or halt congestion, especially now on his street, Poinsettia Avenue, where his hotel sits. It's here now, so we, we'll deal with the reality of it. It's up to the uh, city to figure out how the traffic's going to flow, if it does flow. The question is, uh, everybody wants parking, but how many people want to pay for it? The lot used to be free to park on until the city spent $11 million to build a garage. There are now 702 spaces that cost money. Whenever you add parking spaces, that's going to alleviate some congestion. Yes. Uh, but please understand when you're the most popular beach in the country, that there will be times that we just can't provide enough parking for everybody. Clearwater Mayor George Credico said the garage is really to help beach employees. But the main main reason for this garage is to try to get our employees, and we have over 10,000 of them who work on Clearwater Beach, to use the, this facility. And visitors are already loving it. It's convenient over there, but it was it was crazy. It was it was packed. Uh, we circled for five six times and then decided to, to do something else. And uh, she saw the garage. So what you're looking at are the daily rates, but parking passes, monthly parking passes are available. Now, the mayor did also say eventually they want to look at getting parking maybe by the marina or maybe adding another parking garage somewhere else. But uh, those plans are nowhere in the near future. Josh. Boy, don't lose your ticket. 60 bucks if you lose that ticket. Well, Jamel, now yeah. spring break is here. So what other parking suggestions do tourists have? So officials are telling people, well, use downtown. You can park downtown and ride over the ride on the trolley over for free, or you can also use the ferry. Josh. Sounds good.